got your girl this bag now i told you i was going to bring y'all in while i cook supper tonight okay so i'm making what they call if i'm if i'm correct goulash don't ask me look it up don't ask me but it consists of okra shrimp um bell peppers onions and garlic and sauce uh, and some uh, tomato sauce and you eat it with rice so i'm going to show y'all the ingredients i went ahead and prepped before i did this so you guys can see what i'm talking this right about right here is your bell pepper onions and garlic you got your shrimp and your sausage you got your okra i use for okra uh it's very hard to find fresh got the tomato sauce and then i have some rice and then i have oil because i'm going to need that for this here which is going to go in this pan okay boiling already for the rice since the rice takes you know and you it takes a little longer. now the first thing i'm going to do i'm going to do the okra a lot of people don't like the slime and the okra and the way that you get the slime out you just take a little oil first thing you get your pan hot it's an old pan but you know you got that one old pan to be your best pan that will be it so you take your okra you're gonna put a little oil And I know in case you're asking what kind this is, it's grapeseed oil. So it's actually good for you, good oil. And once that gets hot, we're going to take this okra and we're going to pour it in mm -hmm. the grease to get hot. I'm going to go ahead and put the rice in this boiling water. Now I don't measure it, some people do, but y'all know that it's one cup of rice per two cups of water. And I've already put salt in my water, so I'm just going to use my imagination. Um, kind of, because I guess I've been doing this for quite some time, so pretty much know how much rice to put in there so while we do that while the rice is cooking I could be working on this other pot over here I'm gonna go All ahead right. and get this other pot ready because you want to kind of cook your vegetables down where they won't be all hard when you get ready to eat them they'll be you just kind of cook them like you don't want to overcook them but you want to cook them just enough where they'll be kind of welted kind of soft okay and put this okra in here now stand back because it is hot so we'll go ahead and pour our okra into that there. Remember, we, our job is to get the slime. We're gonna have to keep it because if you see the slime, that will cook it out. It's almost like frying the okra, but you're frying the slime out of the okra. That was, and I don't, at that part, I just can't get paid. So, but I love okra. So, you just basically have to keep saying that okra up until all of that slime is gone. See all that? Until all of that is gone, okay? So let's go ahead and just keep stirring that up. And then after it's stirred up, we'll begin to add all the ingredients to it. But while it's doing that, we're going to go ahead and start on our um, onions, bell pepper, and garlic. So now what we're going to do, we're going to go ahead and take our onions and bell peppers. We're going to go ahead and put them in this pan. Motar test, because remember, you have to continually stir this so that that okra can be, um, so we can get, make sure we get all the sun. Now you gotta kind of multitask now. Use your skills and multitask. Cause remember we have another pot. We have two more pots going on. We have the rice going on, and we also have the, the garlic, bell peppers, and onions going on. So there we go. We just want to kind of cook this just a little bit. Smells so good, and the the rice is already boiling. So I'm gonna turn the rice down. Because uh, we don't want to overcook and let the rice start cooking, just kind of cover it up when it boils and let it cook down until it's ready. So basically, all I'm doing is stirring this here, letting that cook some. And coming back over here to the okra, stirring the okra up. And it smells good already. It ain't even nothing in it. It's just okra. And I guess it takes about, actually, maybe about 10 minutes, I don't know, uh, really on the time-wise. But just until you don't see no more of that slime, you, uh, depending on how much you like it and how much you don't. Um, pretty much you just brine it out. Remember, we're multitasking here, okay? Y'all know how it smells when you put these three ingredients together. It has an awesome smell, guys. Cover up your rice and turn your fire down to about... Let's turn it down to medium because by the time we get through cooking everything, the rice will be done. All right, vegetables are starting to look pretty good. And now let's go ahead and work some more on this okra. See how it's starting to look? See that? All right, 
going to transfer it to over here. Hold the camera and transfer it at the same time. But uh, okay, so I put it in here. I'm just going to turn this fire down. So what I'm going to get ready to do now, I'm going to get ready to put the sausage and the shrimp into that skillet that has the garlic powder, or um, it has the garlic powder, the onion, and the bell pepper. So we're going to go ahead and put that, this here is going to go in here. Yeah. Let go. Alright, let's turn that down. So we're going to go ahead and take this and we're going to pour it in here. We want that juice off of it, so you want it to cook down some. So there we go. That's what now we're going to do. We're just going to stir this up because we want that we want that flavor to come together. We want it to join together. You know, as they call it, marion. So I just want that to fry real good. The shrimp fry, the sausage fries. Because guess what? All those juices are going into your okra. So that's where you're going to get all that juicy good flavor. Yes, indeed. So get ready. Get ready, get ready, get ready, get ready, get ready. Okra's looking good. So I turned the okra off so it doesn't burn. I turned it off to let it sit and rest for a little bit while we're waiting on the meats to get done. Because um, we don't want to overcook the okra. And then I'll turn the turn it back on, which ain't going to take long. And then we're going to transport this to over here. And then we'll go to the next step. Alright guys. So now what I'm going to do is uh, get ready to pour the tomato sauce in here. Mm -hmm. So you just pour it. And I'm pouring it's two open. cans. Pouring two cans of that tomato sauce in there. And basically we're going to stir that up. Let me hold it like this. Yeah, I got it. Look at this one. We're going to stir it up. Let it get really hot again. Mix it. mix it up really good though, okay? when you start putting your seasonings in guys so I'm gonna put my seasoning this is let me show you and we just put some seasoning gotta have that seasoning just enough and then you taste as you go I always tell people to taste as they go gotta have it gotta have it you'd be surprised how it makes your food taste Definitely, definitely. We don't want to add too much salt because sausage has salt to it. So, oh, I need to show you guys. So, and then we stir it up. Now, what's going to happen is it's going to cook, turn your fire down to about medium and uh, stir it up really good to get them seasonings and let that flavor just start to do what it do. Yeah, it looks so good. Mm. Oh, okay. gonna let that simmer just for a little bit and now when the rice is done so yeah we're just waiting on this to simmer we're gonna give it about maybe 10 minutes to simmer just to lock those flavors in and then I'll show you when we plate it up My mom loves rice, guys. And then all you're going to do is 
mix it up. So, and there we go. Basically how you, you eat this, just mix it up. Some people add hot sauce, some people add, um, I don't know, just different stuff to it, but I just like it with the rice. Oh, I'm hungry too. So hopefully you enjoyed this video. Guys enjoyed this video. I'm very hot in this kitchen, but I did it. I told you I was going to get a second video up. And I'm assuming, Mom, what do you call that? Uh, what do you call this meal? What do you call this? Is it goulash? That's what they call it. So I don't know what that means. But anyway, so make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. If there's anything else you think I might can cook, just go ahead and leave it and drop that name in the comments down below. And uh, we'll see what we could do. But I love you guys. And I'm going to get ready to go eat because I'm hungry. So again, I love you and I'll talk to you later. Oh, hit that smack, hit that like button, hit that like button, and make sure you turn on your bell for notifications for more videos. All right, guys, guys let me go ahead and get that first taste. Y'all already saw, I, I know I tried to end the video, but I just had to taste it in front of you guys. I just had to. Ain't that much light. There we go. Mm -hmm. This reminds me when I was living in New Orleans. But, oh my gosh, yes. Thank you. All right, guys. It's good.